So before I get started on my project, I just wanted to make a quick note about where everything is. So right now, uh, Belle doesn't really come when she's called. I mean, she does in the house, and that's about it. She listens in the kitchen and downstairs, but not so much upstairs and definitely not outside. Uh, I have never trained a dog for agility, ever. I've had dogs all of my life. Uh, we had we had a Norwegian Elkhound. He was actually a retired show dog. His name was Chaps. He listened 100% of the time, but somebody else also trained him. We had a Dalmatian. Her name was Maggie. Uh, a boxer named Sienna. A uh, Rottweiler named Maxie. Uh, Precious, who was my Belgian Shepherd. I trained her. And... She was actually trained almost entirely with hand signals, so she knew to sit, to lay down, to come, and that was partially because when we first got her and I was training her, I got really sick and didn't actually have much of a voice. And I had also read in a book that <laughs> I had also read in a book that using hand signals helps to reinforce that. Which is also true. Wait. Meet Luca. I will not be training Luca. This is one of our... There you go. This is one of our Labernards. Mm -hmm. Luca is a Labrador St. Bernard mix, as is Belle, who I will be training this semester for agility trials. But thankfully, Luca's here, and I can show you a thing that I had never used before these dogs. So this collar looks, uh, threatening, right? But it's actually not. See? Put your hand in. It really does not hurt at all whatsoever. And it's there to simulate a mother's teeth, and you use it on puppies. I've been told you can use it on older dogs as well. And notice that these tips here, they're not really sharp. This is Belle. Hi, Belle. The winner's out. Well, now you can meet both puppies. This is Belle. Belle is also a Labrador St. Bernard mix. She's got a little bit more lab in her, as you can see in her face. And the fact that she's pushing me off the camera. Yep. Hi. Well, thank you. But back to this collar. So this collar is great because it lets me reinforce things with just a simple tug. You don't actually have to tug it really hard. You can, you don't need to. And the first time that I ever used a collar like this was when we took these two for training because we were met with some obstacles. We've never had puppies in the house without an older dog as an example, which really, really helps. I, <laughs> I can't begin to describe how much easier it is to train new puppies when there's an older dog already doing these things. It's almost like you don't have to work with them. We've never had two puppies at the same time. That has been both a blessing and a nightmare. As you can see, I was halfway through my video when they decided to wake up from their nap downstairs and come up and let me know that uh, they wanted some attention. And we've never had dogs from the same litter before. And that has been the biggest challenge because Whenever we got puppies, the puppies always latched onto somebody and it was easier to train them and form the bond because they were cut off from what they knew. Well, these two spend all of their waking minutes together and when we separate them, it's not, it's not a good thing. They get very, very anxious. So I'm hoping that doing agility will strengthen my bond with Belle and lessen some of her anxiety and that the time alone will also help with Luca Bear here. 